Hi everyone, um, I'm really happy to be here with you all today. Um, I wanted to share a very powerful content that I came by this week, uh, which come from this book. It's called the 5050 Talks. Um, I have told you already that I uh, graduated from the program that is called Pathwork for Self Transformation, and it has really uh, changed my life for sure positively <laughs> and so this is a, a little bit of a, some of the lessons perhaps like in a easier way to understand because our teachings are kind of sometimes can be really difficult so I uh, it just like struck me and I wanted to share because um, that's how I feel like I can be of service so I hope that this words that I'm going to communicate to you help you in your uh, path to uh, keep growing and feeling happy and alive so this chapter is called uh, how to pray using the power of the word which in other terms is uh, about affirmations which is something that I just posted about uh, and something that has keep coming has been coming up a lot for me so I like I'm really learning a lot, a lot about affirmations so in other ways, this chapter is how to use your words uh, in your advantage instead of against you. And uh, I just am gonna read the first uh, line because it's really powerful. It says, when some area of your life is undesirable and limiting, you must look for the word that is responsible for this state. So that's like a really powerful for me just thinking like, oh, what are the words that I hold in my unconscious or in my conscious mind that like are manifesting negatively in my reality so I think that is really it's really a good uh, question for you definitely and uh, here the they offer like a three-way sort of like process to go th through and so I'm gonna just tell you the steps and then give you an example with my own life um, so that you can see how it goes so the first one is called um, so it says, saying a new word of truth into yourself and concentrating on it as it is what the guide, like the guide, our guide, call uh, like a thought prayer. So um, really taking out all the religious sort of uh, specifics. It's just saying that when you affirm something, you're sort of praying in some sense. Uh, being that to like the divinity within yourself or whatever you believe the universe or you know. So basically just like first step is to like identify <laughs> something in your life that you feel like you would like to change. Um, and so the first thing would be to speak a new word of truth. So like an affirmation related to that. And so as I said in the last video, sometimes this is not enough definitely. Like affirming and then you, you keep seeing the same in the uh, reality. And so here it goes the second step which is what they call a feeling prayer or like a feeling uh, sort of like process where emotions are like a key and I want to emphasize this because I uh, as I've been learning with my teachers and everything affirmations come from the mind of course like the words but in order for them to manifest you have to add emotion to it it's like the pushing force and so here the second step is, okay, you affirm the new thing and then you sit with yourself and see where is it that you feel like uh, there is a resistance to the affirmation. So it could be that you make fun of yourself for saying that, you think it's ridiculous, you think it's not going to happen, you think the world is not like that, like all the things that like resist towards the new word, the new truth. <laughs> and here they offer like this beautiful... Um, Sort of process in which you can um, actually have a conversation with other parts of yourself about this so I think maybe it's time to give you my example yeah so for example um, I am finishing my PhD and going into the job market which is really scary like I've been studying for five years and now I have to go out in the world <laughs> and get a job <laughs> and and with this economy I mean it can be really scary that process so my first like affirmation or new truth was like I'm gonna find a um, wonderful job after graduation 
Um, and so the second, the second, sorry, my crystal, the second uh, step was to sit with myself and see where is it that I have um, resistance to this affirmation. So I had like a very sweet conversation with my inner child and my higher self in which I heard them, my inner child, saying like, um, but w what if I am not enough? I'm not good enough at whatever job, new job I had or something. So I discovered that this is a word of, um, that I'm telling myself that I'm not enough. And um, I was also, sur I'm not surprised of that, like I, I have worked with this somehow, but like it's still illuminating that it's a thought that is very ingrained at the point that still is there, like after so many years of like personal work. No? But what I was surprised as well was that I can identify a past belief that I had uh, that says that I am unlucky and I did not find that anymore. So like imagine yourself believing profoundly that you have bad luck. Like that is such a like unloving thought. And I, I know where I got it and everything but just, just it was very deep in me. And this new um, sort of dialogue I had, I realized I don't have that anymore. So oh my goodness, <laughs> you know it works. But then I have to still work on the on the I'm not enough part um, and so like I had this dialogue where I, I was just saying like um, how is it that that you can know that even if you have rejections from many places like you are enough and I know that like for uh, people like me and other sort of like um, minoritized population or what have you uh, we all, all the time we receive this message that we're not enough uh, but also like very privileged people I feel like struggle with high standards like we all humans to be honest it's just that perhaps um, society like emphasizes more to certain people but um, so like this is a, a thing that I have to work on and so I found it through this process right um, and then the third um, so, so like the, the thing in this before going to the third is that uh, the guide says um, a thought can be revised it can be rejected it can be deba debated, therefore it can be corrected. So like I sit with my inner child and I lovingly tell them like um, that you're enough. As I told them before that you're not unlucky, you're lucky because of this and that and, and this other thing. So you are enough because of this and that and um, I mean obviously when you need to believe that you're enough you cannot relay, rely on um, what you have done or things like that because that is only on the like three-dimensional three plane. So definitely the self-esteem needs to come from uh, additional places, spiritual places if you want. So I feel like I also had to have that conversation with my inner child. Anyway, and so um, the last um, sort of step would be uh, what they call visualization prayer. And so again, it's like from the techniques of manifestation and uh, um, this idea that the, the thought needs to have emotion to it, like attached to it, so that it becomes like a force outside. And so in visualizing, you would see yourself um, in the situation that you want to create and just like uh, assess what would you feel? So in my case, I would imagine working in a city uh, where I have a lot of community around me. I feel loved. I feel supported. I can take rest. I can live comfortably with my dog. I have enough money. I have um, a nightlife, like a lot of shows to attend, things like that, because that's my area of <laughs> uh, theater. No? And so I start to like visualize that and feel it. And so that would add like the extra push. So as I told you the last video, if you don't go to the second step, sort of facing what is it that you are resistant towards when you do the affirmation, it won't happen, right? And then if you don't add the feeling, it also won't happen. So it's a much co more perhaps, not complicated, but it's a more rich process than just like saying something, you know, like affirming the end. It's, it's, it has to more steps towards. And so I feel like, um, yeah, like I wanted to share this um, and also to create some awareness of like the ways in which we use the word. 
uh, if you would have met me five years ago geez I, I had a lot of self self deprecating language a lot of victimhood uh, I just feel like oh my goodness my heart really aches of how harsh I was towards myself and how I used the word and all this transformation has also made me more um, sort of s sensitive to how my friends and my loved ones use their words not to criticize them or anything but just I really now can feel the pain of what can come out of our mouths like I feel like how they actually like put a knife in their hearts right so be attentive to how you speak are you always like reinforcing precarity in your life um, I don't know lack of success loneliness like I feel and then of course there's a balance between like I do feel lonely sometimes and I look for my friends to like you know have some sort of um, expressing my feelings but that's different from like creating a narrative and like replicating it all over and over about me being poor or me being alone or whatever no so um and it's just really hard because the word takes like an impulse and so lately because I'm like getting um, closer to my 40s I've been having this like uh, I'm, I'm old, I'm old, I'm old and I just realized like um, there's nothing wrong with being old but like it does have a charge those words of like oh I have less energy, I have less um, I don't know, interest in life and that's not true and that's not what I want to cultivate. So be really mindful of your words. Um, I mean the guide says that the words are like chisels or tools. Um, so like really they are powerful and I mean so many uh, sort of uh, cultures have said this and so I feel like that is something for us to look at and that's it. Three way process to use the power of the word slash affirmations uh, and I hope you can uh, implement it in your life and have positive uh, results. Remember that things does, do not happen instantly. It takes time. It takes time that for reality to catch up to your new thought. So be patient and have uh, faith and hope. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Bye.